They're going to talk about surviving the modern internet. Uh, as you can see by our wonderfully underdressed shirts today, we are part of the uh, Eastern Washington's CCDC team, where we went and competed with other security professionals, uh, finding out just how little we actually knew. Uh, <laughs> We appreciate you guys filling out these forms. As you get them done, I'm going to start collecting them. But Jordan's going to start us off on our first topic here. So, like Andrew said, my name's Jordan, and I've got a couple more questions for you here. So, how many of you like to do your banking online? Okay, that's a fair amount. How many of you like to use eBay or Amazon or... Again, a fair amount. So, how many of you, if you use Chrome, have seen this? Or if you use Firefox, have you seen this? Or... <laughs> Go with the Internet Explorer if you're <laughs> slightly under, you know, under the tread here. Have you seen this? So, how many of you know what this actually means? I, I've got like two hands. Awesome. So, what this shows is SSL, and it shows a certificate. What a certificate is is most of the time you have a company that will pay another company, how obvious, to say, "Hi, if I'm Amazon, I have a certificate that says I'm Amazon." And when this comes up, this means that your browser looked at the certificate and said, I don't think so. There's a problem. Most of the time, it's not an issue if it says certificate not trusted. But there are people, and I won't say I'm not excluded from this, that like to just click through and be like, I want to go to my website. You think it's going to rock and roll. But this can also be a fissure. So in the same token as where people can buy certificates, you also have the opportunity to do self-signed certificates. That would be me, like me, holding up this sheet right here and saying, look, this is me, I, it's my certificate. Look, I, I even signed it. See, it says it's me, because I said it's me. We all should be good to go. But that's not. That, it shows that people are exceptionally trusting and they're, they're too willing and eager to let something like an error slide by. So speaking of too trusting, here's the service. Uh, <laughs> this is very innocuous information. It's nothing you're really concerned about. Anybody who still has one want to turn one in? Or I'll take a I feel a little nervous here now. Sir? Okay, most of this information here is something that you would typically bring up in a day-to-day -day conversation fairly easily. The problem is, people want you to, uh, the way you access your account sometimes relies on this information. So I'm going to pick one of these ones out here. And, you know, I'm going to go with Mary here. So we've got somebody who's, and we're going to show these when we're done, don't worry. But uh, we've got, she sold, her name is Mary here. Here you guys, you sign up for all the spam you can handle. <laughs> so we've got Mary's paperwork here. She has told us that her email address is at Gmail. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to see what I can find out. You know, I, do, I know her username, but I don't know her password. Uh, so I'm going to click this handy little button that says I can't access my account. Uh, because I kind of forgot my password. So let's see what Mary... Yeah. If we have any way to get this back. Well, we happen to. She's got this link to another email account. Uh, she didn't use her security question, which was a very good thing on Google. But she does have another account here. And you know what? Judging by the stars, I'm going to guess it's somewhat familiar here. Somewhat similar. So we're going to try something. We are, pardon me, <laughs> we are going somewhere here. Hold on. Uh, let's see. So we're going to uh, Hotmail here, because that's where we think it's at. So I'm going to get a password reset sent to it. Uh, now we're going to go to the Windows Live ID, and we're going to hit the same button. And we're going to say we can't access that account. And once again, we forgot our password. And we're going to reset it. So let's see what kind of options we have here for Mary Peterson, 1987 at hotmail.com with the G-A-C-E, I hate captions. <laughs> and we have an option here for a security question, which is the name of a first pet, <laughs> which may or may not be on the sheet of paper. <laughs> Believe it or not, the name of her first pet was Sparky. Or not, that was the name of my first pet, too. <laughs> so now I can change oh, 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 oh. And I think I'm going to go with something like Dino Sour. <laughs> because some people have a little bit of trouble remembering how to spell that. That would be our head honcho on the back there. <laughs> and now we can. I almost logged in as me. <laughs> That's good. 
I am the example of everything wrong. <laughs> so now, I am, oh look, I can see her password. Or there, and I can get into Hotmail. And guess what's waiting for me in Hotmail as soon as I go through all my Microsoft click-throughs? Google Password Assistance. So now, I'm just sending Google's password. <laughs> so again, let's go with Dinosaur123. And we're going to reset that password. Well, success. We have recovered our password, and we are now in Turner Gmail account. The scary part of this is everything feeds into your Gmail account. Uh, if you want, we can go through and uh, access her Facebook account. We can access her bank account. Everything that resets your password sends it back to this machine. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to try to go into Facebook. And you know what? I forgot my password. <laughs> so my email, let's see, that was Mary Peterson, 1987 at gmail.com. And let's see what we can do. Gee, send my codes to Gmail. And let's do a new password. <laughs> because we're already here. So once again, dinosaur, one, two, three. Dinosaur, one, two, three. Change the password. And let's just ignore the rest of the stuff. And we're in here. So as you guys can see, everybody's got their, everybody's got a secure password. Everybody's got their front door locked, barred, and secured. And you've left your back door open, you've left your windows open, You've left absolutely everything open, and we can get this information from you very, very easily just through conversation. It's kind of scary. Um, but it kind of gets scarier. Um, let's be honest, guys. We all know what Facebook is. It's a social media website. You can go on there and tell everybody about yourself. We don't need to do a survey, talk to you, ask you about really anything. Um, we can just go to your Facebook. So here's an example. This is Greg Masterson. He's ridiculously photogenic. Um, and Greg Masterson here, you know, he's a nice guy. He doesn't like to, uh, you know, deny people friend requests just because, you know, oh, they've got a mutual friend or, oh, you know what, they're in the same network as me. I must have went to high school, college with him, something. Um, so. Thankfully, Mr. Greg Masterson here has accepted a friend request from our hacker account here, Jesse Carlson. Hello, Jesse Carlson. So, Jesse Carlson here, as you can see, charming, cute, kind of hard to ignore. Um, so, given that, our target, Mary Peterson, is also friends with Mr. Greg. And I don't know if any of you guys know this, but uh, Facebook's standard privacy settings is uh, to allow friends of friends to see your profile. Uh, that happens when you first sign up, and it also happens every time Facebook updates, um, which is a problem because then you forget about it and you forget to go back and change it. So if we go here, oh look, Mary Peterson, my new puppy is so cute. Okay, so here we are at Mary's profile again. Um, we see she's also in the same network. She must have denied her friend request, you know, just automatically. Um, we can go to her wall. Look at that, Sparky. Sparky is too cute. And right there we have access to your security question. So same process with the Gmail, the Hotmail, any account really that uses that same security question. Um, it, it's scary. It, essentially, like, it, watch out. So as many of you probably guessed right now, Mary Peterson's not actually in the room. <laughs> we're working on a live computer on the internet, so we're working with that internet. We're just not doing it all the time. So, uh, we want to point out that there are three major things to worry about here that we're covering. First of all, don't be too trusting. Be careful what you click through on. You want to make sure that the people who say they are who they are are actually who they are. The police don't accept my self-signed driver's license. I've tried. <laughs> you should do it for anybody else. Uh, the second thing to remember is don't lock, if you're going to lock your doors, remember to lock your windows. If you make it easy for them to get in, hard to get in one way, but easy to get in another way, they're going to get in the easy way. So make sure your password is secure. Make sure your security questions are secure. Don't use publicly available information, such as your birth date, 
or your mother's maiden name, or anything somebody can Google or get from you from a simple conversation. Finally, if you're using social media and anything else, be careful what you share. Check the privacy settings, they get reset every time, you have to be vigilant with it, but the safest thing is don't share things you don't want people to know. That went very quickly, so we got five more minutes for questions. Anybody have a question? I actually have a quick question for you guys. Who's Sam? Smith Brick. Smith? Sam. Sam? I just happened to look at your sheet because it was on top. Money answers. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam says, real quick, his name is Sam, and he's from Bellingham and told us we could have that. Uh, our, his email is never. His internet was, you're not getting my secret question. <laughs> and who is your favorite hero slash historical figure? He's got an up arrow to, you're not getting my secret question. So that's good on Sam. That's Sam.